it cracks me up too this stuff burns and it eats up concrete residue and stuff but yet they keep it in a plastic container nothing happens to it in a plastic container but you put it out here and it just eats up now I'm gonna do some right in here and see how it bubbles up that's what's gonna happen and it's just eating it away right now Now if you have if you have a little uh, dust mask or something like that you can you might want to wear that too and I'm gonna see what happens here it doesn't looks like it took so you got to let this sit on here for a while you know but I brought my metal brush too to try to get to see if this will help it a little bit more on here it's you know, a concrete uh, sidewalk or something you leave it on there five to ten minutes well here it's already starting to dry let's try a different brush see how it's already cleaning that look at that let that sit on there I'm just doing one inconspicuous spot here and I've got full steam on there see how it kind of yellows well that's just how the product is and before we get done with this we're gonna rinse it all off and all that stuff's gonna go away okay yeah they would have to be using that chainsaw down the street today wouldn't they now in the spots where it's just the lines it's gonna come off good but in other spots if there's a little bit of concrete actual bits of concrete on there you're gonna have to scrape those off and flake that off like see right down in there see, that's just from when they did the work initially so if I can get that, spray a little bit more on there, brush it around, that's going to help. That's why you want to be ready with your project. You've got a metal brush here, a bristle brush, toothbrush, putty knife, and all that. And yeah, it's going to take me a while to do this, but I'm not afraid. I am certainly not afraid to do this. It's going to look way better, and I'm not going to have to paint this brick, I doubt. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. I'm going to work somewhere else, and we're going to see how that works here in 10 minutes or so I'll rinse that off we'll see how well that residue came off while we're waiting for that to dry we can do this other stuff you know the muriatic acid is only going to get so good that's why you got to do a little bit of prep work first Got this, this brush is really coming in handy for that. See there? Wow. Almost makes it look brand new. If you don't have all those marks or anything, if you want to just freshen up your brick, try doing this on the joints. And then leaving it or maybe put putting some sealer on there yeah 
now. Man, this is hard work. <laughs> have you seen have you seen anything so far do you think you can't do? I didn't think so. Here's a little bit of concrete. See, when they installed the brick, they should have got that off, but they didn't. That's okay. Getting ready for you. See, I did this from the top on down. You can kind of tell where I stopped, right? I haven't rinsed it off yet. It's been about five minutes. And I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I rinse it off. Now see on that top brick ledger, that's the only place where I saw the, the moss buildup growing because it's on that ledge and it comes off the windows and it comes down on here and it kind of sits there and, and kind of builds up on those edges. Now down here, if you happen to see any little areas where you feel you need to do um, your, your metal brushing, you could do that first if you wanted. You know, wouldn't take you very long to do that. It might clean up some of the stuff that the muriatic acid is maybe not going to get. But after you spray the muriatic acid on there, you can you can use your metal brush. And I would encourage you to use your metal brush after that and make this look really nice. Okay. Ready to rinse this off. And I wanted you to see this. Because I'm in a landscaped area, I want to... Try not to put too much on here because it's going to get all muddy on me. You don't have to rinse much. Now at that point, that look good. And once that dries, you're going to have to kind of keep your eye on it. Once it dries, if you see any more residue buildup like over here, 
Then you can spray a little bit more on there, take the metal brush to it a little bit more and do that, okay? Don't think that's good just yet. You know, even though that's starting to look really nice, this top edge really doesn't look too bad, but I'm gonna do it anyways because it's not gonna take me that much longer and it's gonna blend everything in. Do a good job. Now let me tell you, you could work on this all day long, but if you don't have the right product, uriatic acid, you're never gonna get your job done right. You can, you can work on that brick and do everything possible known to man. If you don't use the right product, you're just not gonna get it done right. Okay? Try this stuff next time.